In today's video, we're going to show you guys our second month expenses for the year 2020. It's a lot more. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to Freely Roaming. My name is Dan. My name is Marlene. So we started um, back in February of our monthly expenses for the year 2020 to give you guys an idea of how much money we spend while we're on the road. We've added a couple of new categories compared to our January expenses, but I think it's going to help explain just all the various types of costs there are in this type of traveling. I think they'll be normal for our type of expenses. We just kind yeah. of skipped it in January for some reason. Yeah, January was you know, it was our first time doing it. So it was more generalized. It was more, the categories were broader. Yeah. So I think in this one, it made more sense for us to kind of break some of them down into smaller chunks. In January, we're racing across Europe to get to warmer weather too. Yeah. Which is not the norm. It's not the norm, but we probably do it, seems like, at least twice a year. That's true. So it's not every month, but it seems like two or three months out of the year, we are trying to go from one place to another really quickly. Before I jump into the first category, I wanna give you guys just some rough numbers of how the month of February went. So in February, we were technically in three countries. We're in Gibraltar, which is UK, mm -hmm. and we spent about half of our time between Spain and Morocco because we crossed the Gibraltar Strait on a ferry on the 14th of February. So. February in 2020 being a leap year, there are 29 days. Three countries, we spent 29 total nights. And of those 29 nights, we were in a campground about a little more than half the time, which is 15 nights spent at a campground. Mostly because half of our time in Morocco, we actually spent a good part of it in campgrounds because at the beginning, we didn't really know the rules of what wild camping in Morocco was like. And when we were in big cities, which were the couple of the cities that we went to initially, uh, we didn't want a free camp on the side of the street. So we spent a, probably close to 10 days in Morocco in campgrounds for the month of February. We also paid for camping at the Sahara Desert because we didn't want to be in the Sahara Desert without water. So that was important too. Well, the other nice thing in, in Morocco is camping is probably on the average half or a third of the price, mm -hmm. sometimes even cheaper, depending on what amenities you require. So that's 15 nights camping, paid camping, and we drove for the entire month 860 miles total. That takes us from Puerto El Marimar down to Gibraltar and actually to Algeciras, Spain, which is where the ferry left. And then we ferried across to Tanger Med. And then from Tanger Med, we drove all the way down to Merzuga, which is on the edge of the Sahara Desert. So with the three countries, we had three border crossings as well. So we were in Spain, we went to Gibraltar, and then we had to leave Gibraltar to get back into Spain. Right, so right. there and back in the same day, two border crossings. Right, and then... Without the car, though. And then the next day, we went to Morocco. Morocco. So yeah. it was three border crossings in two days. So compared to uh, January, we drove about half as many miles. January was 1659 miles and February was 860 miles. So a little bit less or a little bit more than half. Okay, so let's go on to food. In Morocco, we almost exclusively cooked our own food. Not for any other reason except for we didn't really camp at places with restaurants that we wanted to eat at. We ate out, I think, maybe three times during the month of February. And even when you do eat out, it's really cheap. So our restaurant costs are really down. Our food category is broken down into two. One's for groceries and the other one's for restaurants. For groceries, we spent $801.07. And a lot of that is us buying a bunch of food from Spain and taking it down to Morocco because even though food in Morocco is pretty cheap, you can't find a lot of the stuff. They have um, Carrefour's and local supermarkets but it's really difficult to buy alcohol and it's very expensive to buy beers and wine. So before we left, we bought a bunch of beer and wine for basically the entire time we're gonna be there. 
We weren't sure how the meat was gonna go and the fruits and veggies yeah. and all that was new to us. So we also stocked up on a bunch of meat. And that was kind yeah. of pricey too. So the money that we spent on groceries wasn't just for the month of February, even though we're accounting for it here. Mm -hmm because a lot of this food that we bought lasts through entire month of March as well. So that's why that number is a little bit higher. By restaurants, we spend only $257.81. And that's compared to $537.56 the previous month. So it was about half. And groceries, the month before in January, we spent $577.57. So that is about $230 less the month before. When you combine them together, it's the two months, January, February, we've spent about the same amount of money on food. So our next category is transportation. Our transportation category is broken down into four subcategories. One is diesel, which is what our van uses. We spent $413.03 on that. Diesel in Morocco is a little bit cheaper than Europe. So that's compared to $507.33 from the previous month. Even though we drove a lot more, we drove twice as much in, five, in January when we spent $507. In February, half of the distance cost us like 80% the cost of diesel, but diesel is also a little bit tricky because it costs us about 100 bucks to fill up. It makes a big difference whether or not we fill up like on the end of the month versus the beginning of the month. Because we could easily have a $100 swing if we just wait one day before or one day after to get diesel. So I suspect that's what's happening here. We probably got diesel. Or it could be $200 swing. It could be a $200 swing on either side, yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be what's happening because we probably got diesel at the beginning of February, so it didn't count for January. And then we probably filled up at right before the end of the month again. So that's 200 bucks that we probably spent getting diesel. That's why our cost is uh, you know, similar to the previous month, even though we drove half the distance. And then there are tolls. Our tolls are significantly less this month. Last month, in January, our tolls were almost $140, $139.92. And then in February, we paid $10.32. And I believe there were just two or three tolls that we paid. Maybe in Spain. two in Spain, maybe one in Morocco. So that was very, very low. In the previous month, we drove through all of Italy, all of France, so that's why we're, we're paying a lot in tolls there. The third subcategory in transportation is uh, public transportation. So that includes things like buses, trains, mm -hmm. ferries, uh, stuff like that, that's transporting us without us physically driving ourselves. So the previous month we had $33.36 and I think that was mostly taking the boat to Venice and back mm -hmm. from where we were camping in Italy. This month it was $334.70 and that is basically two things. We had a couple of bus rides in Malaga and then the big one was the ferry ticket to go to Morocco. Our next category is shopping and last month we thought our, uh, we had a birthday, we had a couple big mm -hmm. city visits, and we thought we spent a lot of money. But it didn't compare to February at all. So, uh, looking at goods that we bought, it's pretty big. And, uh, <laughs> this is I'm where we could have saved money. These are but things, we didn't save money. Shopping is a category that we could totally eliminate, but these are choices that we made. Not completely, because we're not, we don't want to live a life like where we're depriving ourselves of things that can make it better. Okay. And part of it has to do with traveling and having birthdays, getting kids birthday presents. Hmm. Those are all things yeah. that we want to have that, that enrich our lives. So we have to have those. I mean, we want to have those because, you know, if it was, if it was just a matter of trying to live the cheapest way possible, yes, these, these costs don't have to incur. But we're raising three children. We want them to be nice people. We want them to have the things that, you know, either we had as children or that, or we think they should have mm -hmm. these experiences. So, so that included that's January. Yeah, we had a birthday. Right. So in February, we got some things to get us ready for Morocco. The middle kid needed new roller skates, 
So she got roller skates. I don't know, they were like $30. Each kid got a new boogie board. Mm -hmm. That wasn't that much. That was maybe 10, 15 a kid. For yeah, so like, between the boogie boards and the roller skates, we're probably talking about like $60, $70. And then Dan had a special month and bought a surfboard, which put right. the grand total to $840. For I don't remember how much a surfboard was. It was, it was like $600. Maybe. We bought a bag oh, and, and some a bag. surf wax. Yeah. But I think there's a few other things, yeah. miscellaneous things in there that got it up to... $840.40. But Morocco was a place where the reason why we were carrying surfboards with us all of last year mm -hmm. is because of Morocco. Mm -hmm. Our plan was that we were going to get to Portugal, we're going to get to France, we're going to get to Morocco, and we're going to surf. Because it was sitting on the roof for so long, Ava's surfboard just got a lot of sun damage, and then it was a foam board with a hard bottom, and the bottom started to crack. Yeah. So we left those in the village house in Croatia. And also, um, my surfboard, the fin had busted off, mm. and it was a surfboard that I bought before we even had kids. So I thought, you know what, let's, let's try to find a, a nice surf shop in Spain and buy a board, and we're going to go spend a lot of time in Morocco surfing and spoiler alert we never got to surf in Morocco except for one time the kids got the boogie board bad memory about that board I bought it for you for your 30th birthday and that was a long time ago long time ago <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay that's shopping so that's shopping and then we had a new category called tourist attractions so mm -hmm. I'm not really sure I can't remember what we paid $84 <clears throat> for we went into, oh, we did a walk in Malaga, like at the fortress walls, mm -hmm. but that was an $84. And then we had a new category called laundry, which we usually hand wash our clothes, so we don't have to worry about that. But for something happened- We camped at a marina. Oh, we, saw, we found mold under our bed. We wanted right. to bleach and kill the germs properly instead of hand washing. Yeah, so we paid for a laundry yeah, $14 service for that. there. Uh, new category, buying stuff for the car. I don't know what was $2, but we bought something. Maybe like DF fluid or no, that would be more no. than that. Something for the car. Something for the car. Okay. We probably could just lump that into shopping, regular goods. Yeah. But for some reason, we had it broken out separately. Okay, and the last category, which is also new for shopping, is adding... Uh, additional cell phone data, which we need just like vehicle insurance when we enter a non-EU country. We have a monthly plan in Croatia that works in all of the EU. Mm -hmm. But because that's also a fixed recurring monthly cost, that's going to be broken up into a separate category in another video. Again, that, that we'll, uh, we'll tell you guys all about that. So these are the variable monthly costs. So we added another $100.92 in uh, SIM cards for Morocco. And in Morocco, everything is pretty cheap with the exception of uh, alcohol is pretty expensive. It's about double the cost of most of Europe. Mm -hmm. And data, cell phone data is, is, depending on how you use it, it's not that expensive if you only use it like, you know, for... A little bit of web browsing, maybe a little bit of uh, Instagramming, but they charge one euro per gigabyte. Mm -hmm. So compared to other countries, you may be able to buy a fixed plan, um, like 30 euros for 30 gigs, which would be essentially the same price. But if you want 100 gigs, some countries will give you an option for like an unlimited plan for that country if you buy it. But Morocco doesn't have that. If you want 100 gigs, you got to pay 100 euros. So I think we pay for something like 80 or 90 euros, 80 or 90 gigabytes mm -hmm. for that month. Yeah. And the kids do a lot of school that's video based, so it's important to keep them on schedule and buy enough data so we don't have to stop school. So yeah, ship, uh, shopping total January was $192 and February was $1,042. 1042 Yeah. Okay. Surfboards and boogie boards and roller skates, basically. Yeah. And then our final fourth category um, that we break down our expenses with is paid camping fees. So in general, 
We prefer wild camping and boot docking, but sometimes we're driving across multiple countries quickly. Works out that we're in a campground. Well, plus in Morocco, it's really cheap. So if we're visiting a big city, we prefer to have the vehicle in a safe place. We were feeling like in, in France and Spain, if we're visiting a big city, like in January and part of February, we wanted to be in a campground so that somebody is watching our vehicle because we hear about a lot of break-ins in Spain and in France, so we're worried about that. And in Morocco, it's mostly just about us getting familiar with the country. So we stayed at a few campgrounds trying to figure out the first campground we stayed at was in Asala. And I think we were there before we even got our SIM cards activated. So we were able to have the campground host help us yeah. activate SIM cards. And we needed to figure out, you know, where to go buy groceries. So to have a safe place to park. And then we were in the city of Fes. We mm -hmm. spent two nights there. You know, we wanted a, it's a busy city, uh, Shefshawan, relatively big city as well for Morocco. And then Merzouga, I think it was, just Morocco in general, the camping is really cheap. So, you know, it just became pretty easy for us to fall into that. But even so, of the 29 days, we spent 15 nights at a campground and the other 14 nights were wild camping. And then compared to January, we only spent 10 nights in paid camping. Cost-wise though, for camping, we have, um, even though we spent more nights, 50% more, 15 nights camping, paid camping versus 10 the month before, we ended up spending $12 less than January mm -hmm. because Morocco is much cheaper. So $150.33 for paid camping versus $162.54 in January. Total cost per day for February was $111.26 versus January we spent $93.62. So it was more expensive. Shopping. Yeah. Shopping Not did it. that much more. It was like, what is that? That's like $18 more. There are several places where the, the big changes came about. One is obviously the shopping, the surfboard. That, that surfboard was probably the, the biggest single item cost. Mm -hmm. I think that was like maybe $500. But also the ferry. If we didn't pay for the ferry, then our our daily costs would probably be back below a hundred dollars a day again. Well, going to Morocco, we needed a ferry, we needed additional cell phone data, and we needed car insurance. Yeah. So those are like hundreds of dollars each. So ferry, which was about three hundred dollars, mm -hmm. uh, cell phone was about a hundred dollars, so that's four hundred dollars, and then insurance was about two hundred dollars. So yeah, so we're talking about six hundred dollars more so that's about twenty dollars a day less so if we didn't go to morocco our costs would have been cheaper but other things would have offset it because i think the camping if we were paying for camping would have been more in spain mm -hmm. and if we were um, shopping for groceries and paying for gas that would have been a right. little bit more but generally speaking though we we uh, didn't drive as much as the previous month but we still drove quite a bit because we went from all the way near the middle of Spain on the Mediterranean coast down to the bottom. And then once we crossed over to Morocco, we drove all the way from the top of Morocco to the southeast corner of Morocco near the Algerian border. And these aren't highways. These are yeah. like little broken roads and <laughs> got lost a lot. <laughs> but getting lost in those roads yeah, it was gave you the best views. Okay. So the food, the cost of food was actually in February was 33% of our budget mm -hmm. versus the previous month was 52%. So food at $111 was about, it's $36.51 we paid per day for mm -hmm. food. So that's for three meals usually for five people. And that includes stocking up yeah. for we ate it in March also. So that's about $7 per person per day mm -hmm. for three meals. So food, you can you can save quite a bit of money if you don't eat out. And, and, and we didn't eat out that much. So transportation per day was $33.61, which ended up being 30% of our budget. Mm -hmm. And again, that's including the ferry price and the additional car insurance. Mm -hmm. Um, shopping ended up being $35.95 a day, which is 
about 32 percent so all these three categories was about a third yeah a third each yeah so, so that far. makes up about 90 percent of our more than 90 percent of our and of our expenses and the last one is camping camping costs us five dollars and 18 cents a day which is about 4.7 percent of our budget which is less than the previous month mm -hmm. that was seven dollars and seven cents in the previous month so but for the grand total for February of 2020, $3,226.50. We thought we were going to be less than the previous month, but the previous month we spent $2,153. But that's so, only for 23 days. Yeah, so it was... Versus what is February that? was 29 days, so there's six extra days. It's like $1,100 more we spent. So you have to look at the per day cost. So the per day cost... It's eighty. It's ninety three sixty two for January versus one eleven twenty six in February. So next month we have that data already for March because mm -hmm. we're already in April, but we haven't done March yet. But we have all the data collected. It's initially the date. The number in March was going to be unbelievably so, so low. low. <laughs> before before we left Morocco to come back to Europe. I think we were at just over a thousand dollars for the month and that was like the last week of March mm. but because this is a little sneak peek because we had to pay for a two thousand dollar ferry to come back to Europe it blew up our budget but it might still be equal to February it was a good thing that our costs were so low while we're in Morocco because it gave us the ability to pay for an expensive fare to come back during the pandemic. So anyways, that's it. That's our uh, month two budget for overland traveling Europe and Africa in 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, we will have another video coming up soon for March. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.